as we turn the page to 2021, it's natural we take a look back at the year that was and what a year it was in 2020. KTSN 9 Sports Director Andy Morgan wraps up an unprecedented year with the best of 2020. 2020 was unlike any other year we've ever seen in sports. I'll be happy if I never have to use the words bubble, quarantine, contact tracing, postponed, or canceled ever again. And we saw our fair share of cancellations from the Olympics to March Madness, minor league baseball, New Mexico State football, and dozens of high school football games. And through it all, sports found a way to go on, rallying all of us in a time we needed it most. We begin our best of 2020 with a couple state championships which don't come easy in the state of Texas. The Eastwood girls wrestling team bringing home the hardware in February as the troopers just edged the Hanks Knights for the title. And then you can't forget about the San Elizario boys cross country team notching their fifth state championship. We call that a dynasty. Coming in at number eight, UTEP's Katarina Zetz eclipsing 1,000 points in her career and an overtime win over Charlotte, one of the best to ever wear the orange and blue. At number seven, the regional quarterfinals coming to El Paso with Eastwood playing Andrus, and it was the Troopers punching their ticket to the Sweet 16. It was quite the playoff run. Perfection is what athletes strive for, but oftentimes fall short of. But that wasn't the case for the 2019-2020 New Mexico State men's basketball team. A perfect 16-0 in conference play. First time that's ever been done. The Aggies coming in at number six in our countdown. Can't forget about the UTEP men's basketball team at number five. The Miners going to Tempe earlier this month and upsetting Arizona State and did so in convincing fashion. This was no doubt the biggest win of the Rodney Terry era thus far. The Pittsburgh Pirates select Nick Gonzalez. How about another pro Aggie coming in at number four, Nick Gonzalez going number seven as in the seventh overall selection in the 2020 MLB draft. The Pittsburgh Pirates taking Gonzo with the pick, the highest drafted player in Aggies program history. El Paso walks a little taller when freshman phenom Dion Hankins found the end zone in UTEP's season opening win against Stephen F. Austin. In fact, Hank the Tank scored twice and rushed for over 100 yards in the win. He comes in at number three. At number two, Aaron Jones, Pro Bowl bound, a snub in 2019. Jones is one of three running backs in the NFC to make the cut. The Packers are hoping that he can carry his team to a Super Bowl title. And number one, the best of 2020, El Paso Locomotive FC with back-to-back -back wins and PKs in the Western Conference playoffs, sending Los Locos to the Western Conference Finals for the second consecutive year. And there you have it. There were ups, there were downs. But from all of us all in the KTSM 9 Sports Department, Happy New Year, and thank you for following along.